lesson, we're going to learn how to build this bridge uh, main area here. And we're also going to build the uh, small adapter, which is actually below this image plane on this specific electric guitar. Um, but, uh, we're going to go ahead and build it on anyway. So let's go ahead and go to Create, down to Polygon Primitives and Cube. And after doing that, we'll go ahead and simply drag that roughly into the position. I'll go ahead and scale this down this way to about like that. Next, let's go ahead and hit W and move this over so that it's more centered. And then we'll hit R again to scale. And we'll just roughly scale this into the position we're going to need. And I'm going to scale it like this and move it to the back. I'm then going to set the height uh, divisions to 2. And then go to face mode on this specific object. Grab uh, this face here. Extend that. Click on the little manipulator tool. And just extend this out this way. I'm going to set the divisions to 3. And then this here I'll move up. Select the object. Convert it to sub -Ds, Hit Control X. Hit 3 on this object. And then go to edges. select those edges and these edges and I'll go ahead and do a partial creases on those and then I want to do it on this middle set here so I'll grab all of these and deselect those and deselect these and I need to deselect all of these here subdivision partial crease to create a uh, much more smooth bend there. And I'll actually just undo that and I'll just crease the whole thing. It'll be a little bit easier uh, to define the shape. Partial crease. Object mode. And although it adds some uh, polygons here in the center that we really don't need, uh, it's not too bad. So Polygon mode, faces, W, move it down a little bit. Something like that will work. Alright, and now let's go ahead and build the uh, little uh, connectors here where the um, uh, electric uh, guitar um, strings actually connect to the uh, guitar itself. So let's go ahead and build that real quick. Polygon primitives and a cube again. We'll go ahead and move this over here and up. Hit F to zoom in. R to scale. Roughly scale this down about like that. W to move and move this up. And then to scale that down to about like that. And I'm just going to set this uh, to 4 on all the subdivisions. Let's go to face mode. And I want to go ahead and delete this face, 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 this one, this one, this one, and this one. And let's just delete them like that. Okay, so then let's select the edge tool. Select these two edges, border edge tool. Select that whole border edge there, extrude that. hitting G to uh, duplicate what I just did so that I can add another one in like that. I'll smooth that out with the subdivisions. Hit 3 on it. And you can see that's pretty nice. Alright, top view. Modify center of the pivot point. Let's go ahead and move this over to about here. We'll copy and paste it and move it over to about here. And I'm just copying and pasting roughly moving them into position. Uh, once we get the strings laid down, it will determine the actual position of these uh, little connectors here. So uh, these do not have to be perfect at this point. Okay, like that. Alright, now let's create the um, springs here in the back. 
So I'll go to create polygon primitives. Actually, I'm going to do nerves on this one, cylinder. I'll move this over to here. I'll zoom into it. E to rotate, I'll rotate it this way 90 degrees. Alright, go into perspective view, W to move, and I'll move this straight up, scale it way down. And actually, before we do that, let's go to the um, sections here. We're going to put in um, uh, 16. Actually, that one there is all right. Let's just put in the spans uh, 8. And then go to vertices. And we're simply going to select every other one. As we're never going to see the spring super close up, so it does not have to be perfect. Scale them this way, and then in the side view here, I'll scale them this way as well. All right, object mode, W to move, move this down like so, and top view, hit W and move it over here. just copying and pasting and then hitting W and I'm moving the selection uh, into position and these are again going to change once we get the strings laid down but that's a pretty good start there and I can see that these are uh, going to be a little bit too high for me so I'll grab all those side uh, or actually front view just simply move those down to where I need them. Right like that. Okay. So with that, I'll go ahead and conclude this lesson. Thanks guys.